It is an unending crisis, and now heartbreaking new pictures coming from the border. Authorities say they found a two-year-old toddler and a three-month-old baby, siblings from Honduras, abandoned next to the Rio Grande in Texas. On top of that, take a look at this. It is Fox News drone footage showing just how overwhelmed the border is in Del Rio, Texas. Some 4,200 migrants gathering under a highway overpass. God. Uh, so is this the best Biden's border plan we'll ever get? All right, joining me now, journalist and host of Lara Logan Has No Agenda on Fox Nation. It's Lara Logan. Uh, welcome back to the show. Thank you, Kennedy. So you have some new apprehension numbers because they were going up and up and up. There was a slight decrease from August, uh, from July to August, rather, yet a 317% increase from August 2020 to August 2021. Yes, and that's why I sent that to you, because I knew with your, you know, finance brain that that would jump out at you immediately, which it should, because um, that's the bigger picture here, is that, you know, what you just showed, Kennedy, I hate to tell you because I've been getting calls and videos and pictures all day, it is a fraction of what is really happening at the, the Del Rio under that bridge. In one shift, they just got nine and a half thousand, something over 9,000 people in one shift. So that four, you know, thousand, just over 4,000 is uh, a tiny amount. And this is day after day after day. This began a few days ago. And what I understand from speaking to people who are directly involved, uh, law enforcement officials, um, they're saying that the people, when they're talking to them, Customs and Border Protection, are processing them. They're being told that many of these people are from Haiti, but they didn't fly from Haiti. They came from Brazil and Venezuela and other places. And they came because they got the message that there is no southern border and that the Biden administration has opened the floodgates and this is your chance to go to America. And, you know, I was just traveling through San Antonio Airport and I saw a lot of families, lovely families, you know, I have to say, parents with their kids, and, you know, well behaved and disciplined and caring and loving. But, get, you know, but you know what? They weren't they weren't poverty stricken. And it's hard to see how they fit any definition of asylum, especially considering how many Afghans are being tortured and persecuted, not just by the Taliban and Al-Qaeda, by the way, but by the United States government, by Joe Biden, General uh, Milley, McKenzie, Donahue, all of these miserable, miserable, evil people who have no conscience when it comes to sacrificing our allies to our enemies and then lying about it to the American people and then taking out tax dollars and financing it. Yeah, because there isn't an American in this country who wants to do that. That's that's a great point because the parallels between what's happening on the southern border and what's going on in Afghanistan and who the United States federal government is cherry picking who can get on planes now, even now. And they're, yep. they're saying things like, well, we can't verify the manifest. Somehow they got 120,000 people hmm. out, but you've got 100 people who want to get on a plane, and the State Department will not signal to the Taliban that they should let those people leave the country, yet somehow it's okay for 10,000 people in, in one rush to linger in Del Rio. And it's not just Republicans who are upset about this. It's Democrats. They don't have the social services to support this, let alone testing or vaccinations for these people. Well, Kennedy, all that does is expose the fact that the betrayal of this country isn't just coming from the left. It's coming from the right as well. Republicans and Democrats are both complicit. And you need to look no further at sort of the frenzy of hatred that was generated around Donald Trump to know that people on both sides of the aisle were very much invested in making sure that Donald Trump was never able to change or do anything or be effective, regardless of what you think about him. And I have always said that this was never Never about left and right. You know what? Democrats and Republicans are united on the border. They're united on Afghanistan. Veterans of every stripe are absolutely, they know that this is a moment of conscience. Yeah. You either choose what defines you or you don't. And even worse than that, you know, it's not just that we're saying we can't vet these manifests. First of all, you know, w many of these people worked on your bases. They were in the uh, Afghan army. 
all of these people had biometrics taken. We have an entire database of that. Yes. We have thousands of biometric scanners, you know, that we left in the hands of Al Qaeda. Well, now, now and they Islamic know, and they know who their perceived in, enemies in are. Yeah, exactly. Um, Lara, come back well, and talk. And to you us know very what they're soon. doing, Kennedy? Screwing everything up. They're shaping for an attack that they blame on Afghan refugees and the people who are trying to help them get out. You can see all the hallmarks of it. Yeah. When you understand information warfare and information operations, I can tell you right now that that is one of the options that they're prepping the battlefield for. Yeah. And I don't mean the battlefield in Kabul. Yeah. I mean the battlefield right here. God, I hope that doesn't come to fruition. Laura Logan, thank you so much.